What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Les Alex here and today I'm going to be giving you my top five underrated and underpriced hockey cards. This is something I wanted to do for a long time. I'm really excited. If you do enjoy this kind of content, make sure to smash that like button. It's really the best way to tell YouTube that you enjoy this kind of content. And if you're new here and you enjoy the content and find value in it, make sure to smash that subscribe button and hit that post notification bell icon so you get notified every single time I post a new video. So if you're unfamiliar with hockey cards, Upper Deck has the official licensing to the NHL. So you're going to be wanting to go after the Upper Deck and specifically the cards are called Young Guns. There are some other kinds of rookie cards, but the Young Guns are the ones that command the best price. So therefore, those are the ones I'm going to be talking about in this video. I realize that hockey isn't everyone's cup of tea. And I understand that, but I really do think there are some underpriced cards in this sport. I'm really excited to share my picks with you. So let's get into the video. My number five pick on this list is going to be forward Patrick Laine. He was the second overall draft pick in the 2016 entry draft. He scored 68 points in his rookie season. Again, he's shown spurts of being a prolific goal scorer. He had 44 goals in his sophomore season. He's only 22 years old and has an extremely, extremely bright future. All right, so here on eBay Completed, we want to be looking for the Upper Deck Patrick Line rookie card number 451 again. You'll know these because they have the Young Guns symbol. This is just what they call their top-end rookie cards. So let's take a look at the most recent. Of course, you'll scroll down here, hit on sold items, completed items, type in what you want to type in, and then hit ended recently. And of course, hit search. This one here today completed for $46. 46 bucks. $46 for, say, like somebody like a Cody Bellinger in baseball, if you were to compare it to baseball, kind of. A very good price. These are all going to be raw, so here's one for $32.50 on 12 bids. Here's one that sold for less than $40 on the 16th. These prices are starting to rise. As you can see, this one sold for $20.50 on the 15th. So the PSA 10, here's one that sold for just under $124 on the 2nd. And then on April 30th, we had one for 76 and 56 before that, just two days earlier. So as you can see, the prices on these are going to be a lot lower than some PSA 10s in baseball and especially in basketball. Patrick Line, do a little bit more research if you want. I will, of course, put his stat line up there. And I really do think he's going to be a great pick. He's my number five pick for most underpriced hockey cards right now. All righty, next up is going to be a player on the most popular hockey team on the planet. If you know, you know. It's the Toronto Maple Leafs. This is like basically having rookie cards of the Yankees. My pick here is going to be Mitch Marner, the 2016-2017 Young Guns, number 468. He has had good points totals so far in his career. Again, he is in the best market in hockey, and if the Leafs can win a cup in the next couple of seasons... I figure all of their young guns are going to go through the roof because, again, the fan base is just so large that eventually when they do win the cup, it'll be like the Boston Red Sox winning the World Series, basically. And he's on a line with the captain, John Tavares, who's one of the best players in the NHL. So let's kick it on over to eBay Completed. Alrighty, so eBay Completed here, we have one for $75.00. Here is a PSA 10 for 150. Here's one for 56 several weeks ago. If you can get it towards $50, do that obviously, but 75 bucks is a fair price too, I believe. I really think, I really really think there are some great opportunities here. Hockey is the sport in Canada. There are about 38 million people in Canada and they all love hockey. They all absolutely love hockey. I truly do think that there is an untapped market here for these cards, and I'm definitely, definitely getting in on it before the boom. We've seen the boom in the junk. If the junk wax era cards of baseball cards can go up, I really do believe that these premier hockey players can go up as well. So now I want to take a look at some cards that you could buy right now. So these are still for sale. These are buy it now, price plus shipping lowest. So here we have one for $79 with free shipping. This is raw. 
So these cards are starting to raise. As you could tell from the completed, they are starting to go up. But still, I mean, again, this is the best market to buy cards in. And if the Leafs can win a cup, these prices should skyrocket. So I'm, I'm really high on them. And Mitch Marner is not the only Leaf on this video. But that's my pick for the number four. Next up, we have another player in a great market. He is a Boston Bruin. Obviously, they made it to the finals last season. This guy is one of their best young players. I am talking about David Pasternak. David Pasternak has improved his points total the last four seasons in a row. And when play was suspended, he had 95 points, well on pace to hit the coveted 100 points a season. Additionally, he's a two-time All-Star and he even won the All-Star MVP this season. So David Pasternak of the Boston Bruins is my number three pick for most underpriced hockey card. All right, heading on over to eBay completed the 21st. This is a PSA 10 that sold for $600. This one sold today as I'm recording this. So that shows you these cards. I, th I think I think hockey's about to pop. I think hockey's about to pop off. Here's his raw for 155. Again, he's in a great market. He is one of the best up and coming stars and his cards are just really starting to pop off. And as you can see, obviously these cards are not selling nearly as much as some of the phenoms in baseball and some of the guys in basketball. You can see one sold today, one sold on the 16th. This is the seventh, this is the seventh, right around $160. If you can get one of these, have it graded and have it come back as a PSA 10, that price went from 160 to 600 overnight and your total investment in it is going to be right around 180 bucks after you buy it and after you ship it off to PSA and everything. David Pasternak of the Boston Bruins is my number three pick for most undervalued cards in the NHL. All right, the next player is somebody who needs no introduction, but I'm going to give him an introduction. He probably should be number one on this list, but because of his price, I'm putting him number two because the number one player is just a little bit more obtainable. He's probably the best player in the NHL. Definitely the Edmonton Oilers' best chance of getting back to the cup since Wayne Gretzky. Of course, I'm talking about Connor McDavid. Connor McDavid, what hasn't he done yet? He won the Hart Trophy in 2016-2017, which is the MVP. He's won two Pearson trophies, which is basically the MVP, but players vote on it. So he won that twice, and he won the Ross Trophy twice as well, and that is given to the player with the most points in the NHL. And to top it all off, he won all three of them in the year that he won the Hart Trophy. So as you can tell, the guy is an absolute stud. He's had three consecutive seasons of 100 points or more, which, again, that 100-point threshold is just the difference between a superstar and a star in the NHL. And much like Pasternak, he was on pace to have a 100-point season this year before play was suspended. Again, Connor McDavid is a little bit more expensive than any of the other players on this list, which is why I put him number two. But you'll see... He is a very, very good player. And again, he's, he's basically the best player in the NHL. So let's kick it on over to eBay, and I'll explain why I like him even at his current price point. All right, here on eBay Completed, we have a Beckett 9.5 that sold for $420 on the 21st. So that's today. That's a lot of money. <laughs> that's a lot of money. Um, scrolling on down, we have a PSA 10 that closed for... Um, less than 710, so we can't really count that too much. But here's a PSA 10 that sold for 627. That's a lot of money, but I do think there is potential for him to grow. Next up, we have a raw one that sold for under 259. So the reason I think there is room for this to grow, if you compare him to the other top stars in the NHL, the Alexander Ovechkins, the Sidney Crosbys, they are in the thousand dollar range for raws. And even more for the PSA 10s. Obviously, both of those players have won Stanley Cups. So their names are literally etched in the history books. He needs to prove that he can win a cup before I think he really makes a gigantic jump. But it's very clear that he is as advertised. He was the most highly touted rookie since Sidney Crosby back in the day. So... I really do think that he has some growth potential here, a lot of growth potential, 
And I think he's about as safe of a bet as any of these other players on this list. Connor McDavid is an absolute stud. He's a points machine. So Connor McDavid is my number two pick on this list. All right, last but certainly not least is our number one underpriced hockey card. This guy scored not one, not two, not even three, but four goals in his first game of his NHL career. He is a teammate of a player on this list. It is none other than the Toronto Maple Leafs, Austin Matthews. Austin Matthews won the Calder Trophy his rookie year. He also broke the single season rookie Leafs record in points. The guy is an absolute stud. He is known as the next big thing in the sport. In my opinion, he is the best value on this list. He is a little bit more expensive than some of the other guys, but he's not as expensive as Connor. And for that reason, I'm putting him number one, Austin Matthews. eBay completed here. 9.5 Beckett graded $234 on the 20th, which was yesterday. Another one for $230. Here's a raw for right around $150. I think you want to be right between $140 and $160 on the raw. And if you can get the PSA 10s right here, is one sold for $288. PSA 10. If you can get them between... 275 and even 300 the most recent listings of these psa 10s are 300 but again if you're comparing it to the other high-end players like Sidney crosby and alexander ovechkin those psa 10s are in the thousands closer to 1800 so i think austin matthews is a good pickup and at 150 dollars raw again you have to inspect the corners personally i would just buy the psa 10 on these because there is so much to gain here, in my opinion. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. That is my top five most underpriced hockey cards right now. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I really do think there is an awesome market for these. An entire nation absolutely adores this sport. I understand that Americans, if you don't have a team in your market, you probably don't care too much. But I do think that these cards have potential to go up in price and i am definitely investing in some of these guys more so than others but i'm really excited and i hope you guys enjoyed this content if you like this kind of content make sure to smash that like button that is the number one way to tell youtube that this is good content and that it should be shown to the masses so please hit that like button if you liked it at all and if you made it this far hit that subscribe button what are you doing just hit that subscribe button hit that post notification bell icon so you don't miss a single one of my videos i'm trying to post a video every single day of quarantine giving you good content high quality content here on youtube so thank you everyone i appreciate we are approaching 800 subscribers last week we just hit 700 really excited thank you everybody when we get to 800 i'll have another giveaway 900 and a thousand and I'm really excited to see how this channel's growth has been recently. Thank you, everybody, for rocking with me. And until next time, keep cracking packs, keep collecting, and I'll see you in the next one.